tell me one thing about yourself that no one else would know. Oh, I don't know if I want to do that. Uh, <laughs> my name's Anthony Marini. I'm the chef and owner of The Pass in Charleston, South Carolina. This sandwich is about what a sandwich is in Philadelphia and South Jersey where I'm from. Uh, it's got really great Italian meats. It's got some flavors that you can uh, find a lot more up north than you find down here. It's just the quintessential Italian sandwich. Well, the first thing you have to start off with is the bread. We have a great local bakery. I want to make sure it's fresh because we want it to be soft. This is Calabrian chili relish. It's got a sweetness to it. It's got a little bit of a heat. The next thing we want to talk about is the meat. This is mortadella. This is my father's favorite meat. This is Italian bologna. This comes from the Bologna region of Italy. It does have pistachios in it. There are ones that don't have pistachios. We take two different types of soppressata, which is very similar to salami. One has a bit more pepper into it. So we'll take a row of this and a row of this. You kind of want to build it with some height. So this is burrata, okay? This is uh, buffalo mozzarella that has a surprise in it. And it has ricotta cheese all in there. That's everything you want about cheese. We take a full ball of this and we just kind of lay it on our sandwich like that. Put a little bit of olive oil, just a little bit. A little bit of pepper. And then we get to the vegetables because we gotta be healthy. It's really important to make sure that you don't cut just fat chunks of onion. What I like to use is a mandolin. That way every slice comes out even and it's thin and it's pretty. And next we wanna to use tomato. You could use any variety, any heirloom tomato you want, any color. Everybody can put their favorite green. You could put arugula on this. Honestly, this is a, a pre-mixed um, bag of lettuce that you can get at any grocery store. We use it uh, quite a bit because it keeps the sandwich nice and dry. And then we hold it down with some tomato right here. The vinaigrette's important because uh, you need acid with all your food and you need uh, good acid with this because you've got a lot of spicy meat, you have cheese, um, you know, onions are a little bit acidic, so you want to counterbalance that. The important part of this is, you know, we could talk all day long about, uh, you know, sliced fresh garlic and sliced herbs and fresh herbs in the garden. This is in every Italian grandmother's pantry. Dried garlic, dried basil, dried oregano, and the whole house smells like it when, they, when we use it. We'll finish this with salt and pepper, and when we're done, we spoon it on the bread, and it moistens the bread, it moistens all the rest of the ingredients. Uh, we'll hit it with a little bit more pepper on the top. And then, what I really like, sharp provolone. So this is not your normal deli store provolone cheese. This is sharp, it's got kind of a big bit of a, a must to it, so it's just really, you know, earthy and good. Goes on the top. And this is such a nice Italian boy. My name's Anthony Marini. <laughs>